Downloader's a great app, a great accessory, but when it doesn't work, it can be a real pain in the rear. This guide goes through all the troubleshooting steps to get it working again. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So the first one is, is you try and download something and you get this message. For your security, your TV is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. So if you get this, press the home button. That's the picture of the house on the remote control to make sure that you're back to the home screen and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog. Once that's highlighted, then go down to My Fire TV, then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options. Now, if like mine, you don't see it, then all you need to do is go into About and then find the name of your device and highlight it. Like mine, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer, come up at the bottom of the screen. Then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button, and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is, middle button on the remote control, middle button again, and then it goes to on. If you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources, then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, go down to downloader, and if it's switched off like mine, middle button, and that turns it on. Then keep pressing the back button until you get back to the main menu. Go into downloader again, and then try downloading and installing the app again. Another popular error message is status. An unknown error has occurred. Check your URL and connection. Now, this often means you haven't given downloader the right permissions. So first of all, what I would say is middle button to close this box. Come out of downloader completely. Then press and hold the home button on the remote. Go across to settings, middle button and then go across to applications, middle button, go down to manage installed applications, middle button, find downloader in the list, middle button, and then right at the top there, you've got permissions. Make sure permissions is highlighted in white, middle button, and then where you've got storage there, it may well say deny. If it says deny, middle button, and that will say allow, and then press the keep pressing the back button until you get back to the main menu, Go into Downloader again, and then try downloading and installing the app again. So what if you've typed in a code and you've got, say, a load of adverts come up on the screen? At the top of the screen, you've got https colon forward slash forward slash go dot aftv news dot com forward slash Google search question mark Q equals and the number you typed in. Well, that means that that download a short code does not exist. So it's either been removed or you've typed it in correctly. All you can do there is try another downloader code or double check the downloader code you've entered is correct. There's another error that a lot of users have seen recently. This was when the downloader code system went down and that was status error, unknown server error. Try again in a few seconds. Now, Generally, this means this does this means what it says on the tin. Basically, it means there's a problem at the server, and there's nothing you can do unless you're the owner of the server where you're getting the download from. So, best thing to do is perhaps try again in a few minutes or in a few days. Let them sort the problem out. Another error you might see, although I haven't seen this for quite a while, it's a pass error, and it might say there is a problem passing the package. Now, you generally see this more on actual vanilla Android devices rather than the Fire TV or Fire TV Stick or Cube. Uh, but generally, this means that the download is either not compatible with the device. It could be that it's corrupted. So in which case, try downloading it again. And if you download it again and it's still got a problem, like I say, it's either not compatible with your device or 
it's uh, the download is corrupted. Try and download from another source. A more common recent version of this error message is when you go to install it and it comes up app not installed. And that again can mean that the app is either corrupted or it's not compatible with your Fire TV device. So try downloading the app from a different source. And if it still has the same problem, then it's probably that the app just simply wasn't designed to ever run on your device. If none of the suggestions have worked so far, then go across to the settings cog on the main home screen, down to applications, middle button, go down to manage installed applications, middle button, find downloader, middle button, go down to clear cache, middle button, go up to clear data, middle button and middle button again to confirm that. Like I say, make sure that you've gone into permissions and make sure that storage says allow. So mine says deny, so middle button. Then go down into launch application. And if when you go in there, it says allow downloader to access photos, media and files on your device, you must stay, say yes or allow. So make sure that allow is highlighted, middle button, middle button again, and then try again. If it's still not working, then what we're going to have to do is a complete uninstall and a reinstall of downloader. So go across to the settings cog just over there, go down and across to applications, middle button, go down to manage installed applications, middle button, find downloader in the list, middle button. And then once again, going to go to clear data, middle button, middle button again, Clear cache, middle button, middle button again, middle button. And then we want to go up to uninstall, middle button. And then we want to press the middle button again just to confirm. Keep pressing the back button until we go back to the home screen. Go across to the magnifying glass there, go down, middle button, type in downloader or certainly start to type it. And as soon as you see downloader underneath the keyboard, go down, highlight it, middle button. Look out for this orange and white downloader icon with the arrow pointing downwards. Highlight it, middle button, middle button again to download it. There's a lot of middle buttons there. Sorry about that. Let it download. This bit might take a bit of time. It depends on the speed of your connection and your fire stick. But once it's installed, you should see open. So what we want to do, first of all, is we want to come out of this. So press the back button a few times until you go back to the home screen and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog. Once that's highlighted, then go down to My Fire TV, then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options. Now, if like mine, you don't see it, then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it. Like mine, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer, come up at the bottom of the screen. Then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button, and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is, middle button on the remote control, middle button again, and then it goes to on. If you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources, then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, go down to downloader, and if it's switched off like mine, middle button, and that turns it on. Then keep pressing the back button until you get back to the main menu. Then press and hold the middle button and go across to apps, middle button, go down, find downloader, middle button. And then when you come to this screen, this is very, very important where, where it says allow downloader to access photos, media and files on your device. Make sure that you say allow and then middle button again and then try again. If you're still having no luck, then I think the final answer is you're just going to have to factory reset your Fire TV stick, your cube or your Fire TV, set it up again and try again. Well, I hope this guide helps. If you are in the market for a new Fire TV stick, cube or device, then have a look in the description below. There's quite a few links in there and purchasing through those links 
do help support this channel. Also, if you're after a VPN, there's some great deals on VPNs down there too. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.